Okay guys, I think we need to discuss game day etiquette. We just all need to get on the same page so that we all have the best experience. Once you're in the stadium, there's a couple things you can do. You can go check out your seats. You can go down to the lower levels and watch the pregame warmups, try to steal a puck from a kid. One of the most popular options though is to get your pregame food drinks. There are some general rules here. Know what you want to order by the time you get to the register. Is it the chicken fingers with or without the fries? I don't know. I can't tell you. You only know that. Make that decision beforehand. After you order, have your form of payment ready to go. When you get that change back, you're gonna have all of your food and drinks right there. People are gonna be behind you, but you're gonna be a little bit stressed because you don't wanna hold the line up. So what you do is you take your food and you slide and then you put everything away so the person behind you can come up there and can get their food and drink and get their order going while you, while you handle your stuff over here. Another very important thing is getting to your seat and equally important, when to get out of your seat. Ideally, you wanna be in your seat before the national anthem starts. If you're not there before that and before the game starts, you wait until a stoppage of play. So what you wanna do is you wanna shimmy up there fast when there's a stoppage of play. Everyone else in your row should stand up and let you get in there fast. That way, by the time the puck drops again, everyone's seated and ready to go. Once you're in your seat, you get one out, then in, per period. There are two intermissions for you to do the rest of your business that you need to do. Also, at the end of the period, go out when everybody else is going out. Don't wait till the first initial rush goes and then get out. One final thing, when you are coming into your row late and everyone else is standing up, when you're leaving early and everyone else is standing up, just say sorry. Like, oh, sorry guys, I'm so sorry, I apologize. Even if you aren't sorry, it just is like this one little thing that you can do. All right, so it's now it's intermission and we all know everyone's making that mad dash. This is how you make a mad dash apparently, to get their food, drink, beer, whatever it is, and also the restroom. Let's talk about this one. There's usually two entrances to the restroom, but they're not entrances. One is an entrance and one, hear me out, is an exit. You see where that long line is? That's the entrance. You see that thing that has no line? That's called the exit. Don't be that person that goes in the exit and is like, oh, what's this? What do you mean? There's a line? Even if you sneak in there and get to go to the bathroom before everybody else, karma will get you. So intermission is over, we're back in our seats, and there's one last thing that we need to discuss. Phone use during the games. I got nothing against you trying to take a video, taking pictures with your friends, even if you wanna snap your friends some little crazy things that are happening. There is no need for you to be scrolling aimlessly through your phone all game long. You paid to watch hockey. Maybe watch a little bit of it. So guys, these are just my basics for hockey game day etiquette. Did I forget something? Did I miss something? Or did I get something wrong? Be sure to let me know and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.